If we do want to be a place for culture, for nurturing all the creative efforts, the creative activities that is in our community, we are also very interested and we believe in the power of the arts. We've commissioned uh, three public art pieces for the market, one of which is Lifelight. Uh, Lifelight consists of um, 120 uh, color-changing RGB LEDs uh, that are uh, positioned like in the form of uh, rain coming out of the sky. These uh, LEDs respond to people's touch as they're walking through to atmospheric weather conditions outside and by doing that they change color um, and change position. Also in, within the installation is a, a spatialized sound so when I go up and touch one of the sensors along the guardrail and I can see the lights changing I can also hear the sound changing as well that adds to my experience of the piece. Lifelight is an exciting new public artwork that's in the River Market at New Westminster in the Quay. And um, essentially it's a giant interactive sound and light sculpture consisting of hundreds of uh, bulbs and also a uh, several channel audio system which allows for a uh, spatialized sound environment as well. So it's kind of like playing a giant spatialized sound instrument accompanied by the lights as well. Lifelight uh, has proved a few challenges. One of those being that it's positioned around 30 feet up in the air. So having to work on a large metal structure uh, in the middle of a soon to become busy shopping center has proved challenges in the rigging of it and also in the uh, incorporating of technology into the space. Lifelight uses the Mondo Matrix technology, um, which I developed when I was at Emily Carr University for my master's thesis there. Um, but it uses a little bit more of an expansion on that in that we've amplified the lights a little bit and uh, we've done some things to customize it for this project, which is what I encourage anyway with people who are Mondo Matrix users. Uh, Lifelight at its root is intended to be a playful installation. What we want is for people to come through like children, adults, family groups, to come and interact with the lights and to play it like an instrument almost. So they're playing light and playing sound. And in doing that, they're taking a, um, a, a playful uh, gesture towards the installation and towards the space. That if you can imagine it, then we can build it. And basically what that means is a lot of the times you'll have artists who have amazing ideas in terms of what could be accomplished with interactivity and immersive media artworks. Uh, but some of the times, uh, due to the nature of uh, education and just simply the vast amount of knowledge that's out there in technology, it's difficult for artists to be able to uh, acquire all of the knowledge that they need to realize their vision. And so uh, what we do essentially is we make these artworks possible. And truly, with the uh, technology that is available today, uh, not only in current open source developments, but in technology that um, we've developed ourselves, it makes it really easy to accomplish uh, high technology works and um, still have a deep and rich and meaningful uh, creative vision.